Hello and welcome to my Home Tuition's YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss solving quadratic inequality by using a quadratic graph and then verify the answer by using the Casio FX 570EX class width calculator. This is a video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. When solving a quadratic inequality, some students make a frequent mistake. They mistakenly believe that solving quadratic inequality was the same as solving quadratic equation. This may come from the experience in solving linear inequality. Let's see this example. We have a linear equation and a linear inequality. To solve the linear equation, we shift the one to the right and then divide it by two. The answer is x equal to one. To solve the linear inequality, we repeat the identical processes. We move the one to the right and divide it by two, and we obtain x greater than one. Both answers are correct. We can see that solving linear inequality is similar to solving linear equation. However, this is not the case for solving quadratic inequality. Let's see this example. We have a quadratic equation and a similar quadratic inequality. To solve the quadratic equations, we factorize it. We get x plus 1 equal to 0 and x minus 2 equal to 0. Hence, x equal to negative 1 or x equal to 2. If we repeat the same process for the quadratic inequality, you will find that the solutions will be x greater than negative 1 and x greater than 2. However, this is not correct. We cannot solve a quadratic inequality as it is a quadratic equation. There are two ways to solve a quadratic inequality. First, by sketching the graph of the related quadratic function, find the x-intercept, and then determine the solution from the graph. Second, by using a number line to determine the solution, in this video, we will discuss the first method using quadratic graph to find the solution of a quadratic inequality. Solving quadratic inequality by graph. Let's say we have a quadratic function fx equal to x squared minus x minus 2. This is a graph of the function. Above x-axis, fx is greater than 0 or positive. Since fx is equal to x squared minus x minus 2, hence we can also conclude that at this region, x squared minus x minus 2 is greater than 0. We can also see that below x-axis, fx is less than 0 or x squared minus x minus 2 is less than 0. These features of the graph will be used to solve a quadratic inequality. Now let's see this example. This is a past exam questions, 2015 paper 1, question 4. Find the range of values of x for 2x squared plus 5x less or equal to 3. So this is a quadratic inequality. Let's write down the inequalities. 2x squared plus 5x less than or equal to 3. Therefore, 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 less than zero. Now just now we learned that to solve this quadratic inequality, we need to use a graph. So let's sketch the graph of this uh, quadratic functions. The coefficients of x squared is two, therefore the graph is a U-shaped graph. It's a U-shaped graph, okay? And to find a solution for this inequality, we need to know the x-intercept of this graph. Okay, to find the x-intercept, we need to let this quadratic expression equal to 0 because at x-intercept, y is equal to 0. So therefore, we let 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 equal to 0. This is to find the x-intercept. To solve this, we factorize these quadratic expressions. So this is equal to 2x minus 1 x plus 3 equal to 0. Therefore, 2x minus 1 equal to 0, x equal to 1 over 2, or x plus 3 equal to 0, 
x equal to negative 3. So this is the x-intercept of this uh, graph. So let's put this inside. This is negative 3 and this is 1 over 2. Now for this quadratic inequalities, this expression is less than 0. And just now we learned that the regions where this expression is less than 0 is the regions below the x-axis. And for this regions, the x is in between negative 3 and 1 over 2. Therefore, this is the solutions for this quadratic inequality. So the solutions is negative 3. X is in between negative 3 and 1 over 2. Now let's use the Casio FX 570EX class V calculator to verify our answer. To uh, find the solution for quadratic inequalities, let's go to the menu and then use the right cursor key to move our highlight until we see this inequality. So press equal to go to into this mode. And uh, quadratic is the second degree polynomial. So we choose two. And then this is um, number four. This is a number four, okay? A quadratic expression less or equal to zero so uh, we choose number four okay then let's key in the uh, a b and c uh, for these quadratic expressions our a equal to two two and then our b equal to positive five and our c equal to negative three negative three equal and then press uh, the equal key one more time and this is the solutions so the solution is x in between negative 3 and 1 over 2. This is how we use the Casio FX 570EX uh, class with calculator to verify our answer for this uh, quadratic inequality. Let's see another question here. Um, this is a uh, past year questions, year 2017, paper 1, question 12. Find the range of values of x such that the quadratic functions fx equal to 6 plus 5x minus x squared is negative. Negative means less than 0. Okay, so what they want us to do is to find the solution for this inequality 6 plus 5x minus x squared less than 0. So this is a quadratic inequality as what we have learned just now. Uh, to solve a quadratic inequalities, we use the graph of the quadratic functions. In this case, uh, let's rewrite these quadratic expressions in the standard form. So uh, for standard form, x squared is the first term and then plus 5x plus 6 less than 0. Since the coefficients of the x squared is negative, therefore the shape of the graph is the n shape. Okay, so this is the shape of the graph. And then we learned that in order to solve the quadratic inequality, we need to know the x-intercept of the graph. To find the x-intercept, we let uh, these quadratic expressions equal to 0. So equal to 0. And uh, we multiply these equations by negative 1. Uh, so this becomes x squared minus 5x minus 6 equal to 0. Uh, let's factorize it. x minus 6, x plus 1 equal to 0. Therefore, x equal to 6 and x equal to negative 1. So uh, the x-intercept is negative 1 and 6. Now for this inequality, this quadratic expression is less than zero. And just now we have learned that fx is less than zero when it is below the x-axis. So for this regions, fx is less than zero. And let's divide this into three regions. Okay, so uh, for this regions, fx is less than zero and our x is less than negative one. For this region, fx is more than zero. Yep. And for the third regions, 
uh, fx is less than zero because the graph is below the x-axis and for these regions our x is greater than six so what is the solutions of these quadratic inequalities the solution is when x is less than negative one then our expressions this negative x squared plus 5x plus 6 is less than 0 and for x greater than 6 this expression is also less than 0 so these two are the solutions of this quadratic inequality now let's verify our answer by using the Casio FX570EX class width calculators so let's go to the uh, inequality mode well let's go to the menu and then choose b so this is uh inequalities and um quadratic is second degree so we select two and then uh, for our case this is number two okay so uh the expressions is uh less than zero number two so let's choose number two and then let's key in the coefficient for uh x square so the coefficient is negative one equal and then for x is five and the constant is six equal and then so press the equal key one more times and this is the solutions so the solution is x is less than negative one yes that's correct and uh, x is greater than six yeah six less than x means x is greater than six so the solution is x is greater than 6, so which means our solution is correct.